Welcome back to another art haul video. This is June's. We're only on 18th, but I'm recording it anyway because I will be leaving the country for a couple of weeks. So I wanted to get it videoed before that. I have obviously gone a little bit crazy. I know what's in these, you don't. Let's check it out. Okay, in the efforts of kind of clearing the space, let's work through the slightly more bigger items. So these I picked up from a company called Sostring Green. Um, they're a Danish company, I believe. And I thought when I'm painting, I have dirty water. My cat comes along and she's like, ooh. And I have to stop her from like trying to drink it, right? Because she drinks things in stupid places. So I thought with these little sugar bowls with the lids would be great. Because then if I don't want to like tidy before I go to bed, which sometimes you don't, then you can, you can see this one's already got some water in it. Then I can just pop the lid over and she can't get to them. So those were, I think they were only about four euros each. So really cheap. And at the same time, I got this pastry brush. Because um, obviously you get those catalyst brushes and they can be quite expensive. So I thought, oh, I saw this and I was like, oh, that would be good for like paint. This was like one euro and 98. Can you see that? And it's just from Sostin Green. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought that was genius. And then, again, in the interests of clearing space, this is something I picked up from Ikea. I needed to get some boxes for my um, sewing supplies, like my fabrics, to get them away from moths, basically. And I saw this for the kitchen, and I was like, that's kind of cool, because I can hook it on the bar, put like a rail in my sewing room here, and I can just put the tools in it that I don't need to have. I, hang on, let's start with what I didn't get from Jackson's. Then we have these Caran d'Ache water brushes simply because I saw somebody talk about them on YouTube and they have this push button but also my understanding is that I can suck the water up from my drinking bottle when I'm out and about and I don't have to carry extra water and they have three different types of brush a large a medium and then a fiber tipped this is the large this is the medium and this is the fiber tip so it's like a fiber tip and i'm curious about this one i'm not quite sure how that's gonna work but i figure and actually i'm going to a museum today so i want to take one or two of these with me so it's really good that i'm doing the video now it's the groninger art museum it's like a modernist building i'll put a photo in so you can see what it looks like then the next up i ordered some books pattern source book to use as a source of inspiration <gasps> look at that bird i thought it'd be really cool just to kind of break me out of a rut. I really like these kind of like square shapes. Those are cool. And to use as like a source of inspiration. And then because I struggle with ideas, this came up on, these were from Amazon. Um, Amazon Dutch NL, NL. So you could like, so my subject is vintage, vintage salt and pepper shakers. I will use mixed media, using your favorite medium and adding torn or cut paper collage. See example on page 5155. And then those are the color palettes, so different indigo shades. So I thought it was a really good way. If I'm in a bit of a rut, I can just work my way through here because sometimes I just get stuck on a color palette. So I thought that was a really good idea. I'm not sure how much it was, maybe like 12 euros. And then this one I saw in another YouTube video, Shirley Trevenna. I used to have the Taking Risks with Watercolor book. I think I lost it during a move because I haven't seen it for a couple of years. And I think, well, yeah, I just love the technique that she has. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to grab this one while I think about it. So I, my thing is I've been leaving it on the outside table in the um, our house. And then on the morning when I have a coffee, I work through a chapter. Uh, it's like my little treat. So those are the books that I got this month. Okay, now we're down to the actual supplies. This is a, another little genius idea that I saw on someone else's YouTube video from Jackson's. And it's for like, I believe, like oil paint. So putting like linseed oil and stuff in. But it can clip onto a board. And then you've got two little pots that you can put clean water, dirty water. So I think it's a little bit bulky than I would like. But I thought that was kind of cool. Then clearly here I have two of the same thing. <sighs> now... You might be asking or thinking, but Eve, why do you have two of the same thing? <sighs> the answer, friends. So what happened was, I've previously shown you my Daniel Smith watercolors. So what I decided to do is separate my non-granulating watercolors. And here we have them. And I was left with this really large tin of, well, <laughs> these are my Daniel Smith granulating colors these are a selection of Winsor Newtons I have the number of Winsor Newtons to fit into their own tone thus that's what this one is for and you'll see what we're going to do with this shortly but I also bought other watercolors so maybe we'll get to those next I think it's in this box are you ready 
Now, we can blame Jackson's for the sale and we can blame Jewels of Chlorophyll for this purchase. Can you see those? How could you not see those? This is a quite a collection. I think I got 23 or 24, I'm not sure. Watercolors. Not all of them are available in half pans. So I got large pans. And yeah, and I just, I hope I haven't double purchased. That looks a lot like, oh no, it's different than this purchase. There's more like a magenta, isn't it? Queen magenta, queen violet. So these are exciting. These I'm going to put into one of these. I'm not going to do it now because that'll make it quite lengthy. And then, well, in order to use these in here, this is going to be my granulating pan of Daniel Smith's. So the Windsor Newtons are going to go in here. The Roman Schmalls are going to go in here. We have the Daniel Smith non-granulating and then this will be full of the Daniel Smith granulating. Now, because I didn't have enough uh, paints to fill it, and because Jackson's emailed out their sales email for Daniel Smith extra discounts, I obviously went ahead and treated myself to some Daniel Smiths. What do we have? We have sepia, viridian, hematite genuine, perylene red. I have pyro red in the non-granulating. This is perylene red. Verdita blue. I'm going to admit, I spent uh, probably like six hours going through all the different write-ups for all the different colours on the Jackson's website, making sure I only found ones that were slightly or heavily granulating. Amethyst genuine. Mayan blue genuine. Bloodstone genuine. And these are clearly the ones that were too big. Chrome titanate yellow. Fired gold ochre. Mayan red. So those are my Daniel Smiths. Obviously, there's going to be a couple that's watching videos because I've got my Roman Schmalls and now my new Daniel Smiths. Oh, in order to be able to put those into the palette, pans, of course. And I'm trying to do that thing. Let me show this to you. Sorry, sir. You see, ugh, this is not a good idea. Here, I've only got a dab. I don't want to like fill the pan because that's the mistake I made with some of these when I first got my pans and my paints. I just want to put like a little bit in and so I have it all together. But then I'll sometimes work directly from the tube using like little bowls. That's my plan with ceramic dishes. And then finally, so that's all of Jackson's done. But I did take myself to the art shop the other day because I was feeling a bit down in the dumps. I got some granulation medium to use the acrylic inks. I thought it'd be fun. I saw a video a couple of weeks ago now where this was used to great affection. I thought that would be fun to try. And some Copic markers. Copic? No, Posca. I purposefully chose colorful ones. I have already a white and a black thick, like big chisely block one. And I just wanted some smaller ones. These are more expensive than I thought they would be actually. I think they were like five and a half euros each. So it's quite a lot for marker pens, but I have already tested them out, as you can see, and lovely colours. So I'm very excited about that. I got this one as the orange or bright yellow, emerald green, red wine, and pink. Okay, so I'm really excited about those. So there you have it. That's my art haul for June. I have no intentions of buying anything else at this point, unless um Jackson's send an email and they're like, ooh, look at this. You've always wanted this. Actually, there are a couple of things I want to get for lino cut printing. Um, I will be back in the UK for a bit and I have some lino stuff there, which I'm going to bring back. But if the, you know, if Jackson's having to do a sale while I'm there, I might just order a few bits. But I'm going to have great fun playing with these. I'll swatch out the Roman Schmals and the granulating colours in a future videos, as well as the Poscas. I could show you the Poscas now, I think. This is the orange. This is the pink. This is the magenta. It looks like a scribbling black pen, actually, but it's there. And then this is emerald. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if there's anything here you would like to see first in the next video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.